We're out here in the backyard of Summit Academy. So we want to show you how quickly Mr. P in real time can actually take these four walls down in a safe and efficient manner. The man has skills and we're going to observe those skills today and decide what we think about how good he is and whether we'll be that good someday or not. So we're here on our model here and we're going to try to demo it down. First thing you gotta understand about demoing is that you gotta understand which wall can come down first and which wall is gonna come down last. Okay. Usually it's the last piece you put up is the first piece you put down. Since we already took down the roof, the sheeting, now we're talking about our walls. If you come and look closely here, how these walls are supposed to be like, let's look at this corner right over here. See how this wall here ties over this wall. So that means it tells you this wall is a short wall. Okay, this is a butt wall, they wanna call it. That goes on top of the long wall. So you wanna take this wall down first and keep this wall up. So we gotta brace this wall off first before that you can bother trying to figure out how to take this out. Because if you don't brace this wall, what happens is that when you pull that plate, it can just fall down. So what you wanna do is you gotta understand which, what you can and can't do. You can, yeah, I can just take a, I could just take a sledgehammer, bust down everything, but let's just say you're trying to save some of this stuff. We don't want to wreck it. We want to take it down safe. We want to be able to reuse the material. We want to make sure that nobody gets hurt. So the first thing I do, I just look at it and see which wall do I want to attack first. So my, my best part is probably attacking that front wall. The best wall I'm gonna do first. So what I want to do first is that I want to brace this wall off. So now, I got my 16D, 8Ds, I got nails, I got everything that I need in my tube bag. Now what I want to do is I want to take a 2x4, either a stud or a plate, I want to put a brace on here. I want to make sure I got enough room that I can tip this wall down. So that wall is standard 8 feet. You got to keep in mind that this here, the plywood here, the OSB, is 4 feet wide. That's one, that's 4 feet, plus another 4 feet, that's 8 feet. So you keep in mind that the wall is going to come to here. So you don't want this brace to be here. It makes no sense because you got to move it again. So you want to make sure you clear that eight feet. So if you want to, you can put it like this. What I would do is that I take a 16D penny. Always have nails in your pouches. Take a hammer, you can toenail this way. I'll put two just to be the safe side. Because if somebody gets hurt out here, it's going to be the camera guy. And then you're going to want to nail this set the bottom down here. Now, if you come over on this side of the wall, this already has a bump on. Okay? But this not supporting nothing. It should have been tied together left on. So we gotta brace this side too. So now I'm gonna grab brace and put it on this side here. Same thing. It's important that you brace everything off because if you're out here by yourself or doing something by yourself, just be safe. Be smart and stuff. Now I got these two wall braced off. If you can see, I toe nailed it in there. Everything's now just off. Now, what my next object is that I gotta figure out this wall here, I ride it, tip it toward the inside. To do that, I gotta untie these nails off of here, off these corner. These what they call corners, okay? This is the L corner, what you see here. They got C corners. Most two by six will be have a C corner. Most two by four walls, you'll do the L corner or three studs on the end, but we'll get to more detail about that when we do components on what's what. But otherwise, we gotta untie these nails that's nailed to this wall here. There's two ways of doing it. 
you can take your cat's paw, okay? You can, like in the other video I showed you guys, you can pound it in like this, dig in there, you know what I'm saying? It takes more time. Pry that out, then that snail's gone. I gotta pull all these nails, look at that. Usually it'd be a lot more than this. But since this is a demo house, we don't have that much nails on there. The other way of doing it is taking a sawzall. Lucky I have a sawzall sitting right here. And a cord, look at that. I got the sawzall cord. Now, keep in mind that this here is a construction blade. Okay, construction blade can cut through anything. Nails, wood, they're metal blades, but why waste money on a metal blade when you can get a construction blade? So what you wanna do is that, you wanna stick it in there like this, and just press the button. It doesn't take much. It just already cut through that nails already. Okay, to get in here, it's wedged in there. So what you want to do is that you got to try to take your cat's paw and try to unwedge it so you can get a blade in there. And now you can be able, should be able to stick a blade in there. Now watch. I just put my hand here, hand here on the trigger, press it nice. Two nails like nothing. So this wall is should be loose. But let me double check it. This side's loose. Now we're gonna come over to this side and do the same thing. But first, I want to pry it apart a little bit. Okay, keep in mind that I'm the only one here. This wall is already loose. So what you want to do is that when you got one nail left, I suggest you take time and brace this wall up first. But let me prop this out a little bit. So I'm gonna pull that last nail out. I want to make sure this wall do not fall on top of me or anybody else, like the camera guy. So we want to just brace this up again. So I got one nail each, top and bottom. Now I'm going to go back and cut the rest of this. One nail on the very top of there. 
Try not to kill yourself and grab yourself a ladder. gonna get tricky. Make sure everything's out of the way, clear it out of the way before we set the wall down. Pop this brace off, but you gotta make sure that you hold on to this wall at the same time. So that wall is pop. What I do is that I try to pull this out. Always have your nails facing down. Do not stick it up like that, okay? We always want the nails laying flat towards the bottom, downwards. Because when people actually step on it, they're not stepping through it. The nail's facing downward. Now what I do is that I'm gonna walk this back, nice and easy. Okay, nice and easy. Look at that, there's the eight foot brace. That's what I'm talking about, that the braces for the back, they don't get in the fear. 